So I hope you're ready for another awkward sugar adventure. I am back on the river today and I'm at the uh, spot where Mike and I uh, went digging some little while ago and found some really cool stuff. We found Civil War stuff, we found old silver coins. I found a coin that could date to like 600 AD, I'm not sure. <laughs> Could do a little more research on that but anyway i've been out here for a little while i haven't found a whole lot yet but i want i got a target i want to share with you mike's supposed to show up after a bit but he uh said he couldn't get here till late a little bit later in the day so i gotta start anyway what i have uh, most of these today is just like some fishing weight that's a one ounce lead fishing weight or sinker and uh, probably a half ounce right there and a can lid but i had a signal here i wanted to dig with you first coin type signal probably you know could be a wheat penny or regular penny if I can find it again I don't know if you can hear all of the um, iron you can hear a lot of iron I got discrimination on 14 I want to dig the solid iron too because there is uh, Civil War stuff in here too and you know I want to dig the guns up to here no I don't hear it now so there's a half a uh, half a signal that's probably a sinker we'll dig that in a minute but let's see if we can find this <laughs> queen sounding th there it is all right so that's a nice high squeak there you can see it's reading up 70s 80s oh by the way i'm using the garrett at max we are in the zero program discrimination is on 14 i'll probably leave it about there and about half battery power right now so we're okay let's go ahead and dig this one together i'm actually gonna put you under don't forget Hold your breath. All right, let's see if we can find it again. Took my eye off of it. All right, right there. I assume that's going to be a modern quarter. Uh, yep, that's what it is. <laughs> oh well. That was a good sound though, wasn't it? The little knife. Not sure how old this is, but this is like a table knife. Um, gave a pretty decent signal, so that might not be. I'm not sure what that handle is made out of, but it might not be iron or steel. Uh, but I think that you know, naturally the blade is, and it's broken. <laughs> anyway, at least I got a knife. I just got a piece of. Uh, I imagine this is probably like spring steel. It's probably uh, spring steel. Yeah, well, steel. Uh, it's made into a spring. Um, that's what I would think. It looks like it's got a little hole on the end of it there, but it's just a real heavy iron object. Looks like it's a, a modern penny that's I don't know how that got like that. It looks like somebody chopped at it with an axe or a hatchet or something. I'm not even sure if that's a penny uh, or uh, I don't know if that's a wheat penny. I don't even know if that's a coin, to be honest with you. I think it probably is, but I'll try to get a picture of it for you after a little bit. So I had kind of a decent signal here. I went ahead and dug it because it, it didn't sound real great. But I got a hole going, small hole down in the crab, cracks of the bedrock. And so far, this is what I've gotten out of the hole. I've got a regular round nail. I've got a small fishing sinker. And that looks like, to me, like it's going to be part of a lock. That's the top of a lock, I think. Like a little padlock. And I'm feeling with my fingers, and I'm pretty sure I can feel a coin down in a crack. I'm going to put you under, see what you think. And since I naturally forgot my little forceps in the vehicle, I'm going to have to use this little nail to try to pry the thing out of the rocks if it is a coin. But check it out first. Well, I, I couldn't see it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to go ahead and grab it with the little nail and um, see what it is. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it, it, actually what it is is a little piece of lead. It's got like a little sharp edge on there. I thought it might be a coin. 
Um, but no, it's a solid, it's solid lead. There's no hole in it for make a fishing way out of it. But this is an interesting piece of lead. Um, I thought it was just going to be a sinker, but it almost looks like some type of weird bullet, although I'm not positive. And it's boat tail, meaning that the back of it actually kind of sink, comes back in from the center. But boy, it does look like a bullet to me. Could be a Civil War but era bullet, but I'm just not really sure. I don't can't say I've ever really saw it, seen any just like that. Well, let me think about it for a little bit. We can make a bullet out of it if you try hard enough. Not really. Well, basically the same hole where I found that bullet-looking thing. I just found this chunk of lead, which looks very similar. That I don't know if that's a. Uh, you know what? That's a bullet-sized chunk of lead. Looks like it's been mashed up a good bit, but I think it has some type of line in the top of it, so they probably cut it with a knife, put the line in it, and folded the lead over to make a fishing weight out of it. It's about the same size as that bullet looking thing, though. I have a really nice high squeaker here. Could be silver somewhere. <laughs> right there, okay. It actually sounds really good, doesn't it? Nice high, high uh, number. All right, let's go under. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get my mask on. It'll be easier for us to find it. It won't take near as long. kind of messed that one up a little bit um i couldn't find it. it took me a long time to find it because it looked just like the bottom and uh but that's another piece of lead it looks almost like it's melted but it has a hole in it so imagine somebody probably made a sinker out of it and it took me like a, quite a while to find that because i fanned it back there and it looked just like a rock <laughs> oh well this is kind of a strange little thing right here it's uh, got a little wooden handle on it and uh that's metal, but I think it's pot metal. I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like something you turn, but I don't suspect that's very old. Hmm. Ooh, look at Crawdaddy. Smike made it out here, and we're digging together again. Have a nice squeaker here. I thought we'd dig it together. Squeaker or two. Might be a couple of them there, so. Or right, well, somebody threw a bunch of pennies in there when they saw me. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go under and see what we can find. We had two of them underneath there, but I only heard one with a pin pointer. I guess that's a foreign coin. That's a Canadian penny, I guess. I can't read the date on it, but yeah, okay, we'll check in a minute. Mike says he's got something he wants to see. It's got all the weird design, but there's words all the way around it, like it's some kind of souvenir, maybe. I can see some kind of script if you turn it real slow on the sides. Mm -hmm. There's like little uh, cursive writing on it it's hard to writing. see i know oh, my, what my southern that? accent comes out sometimes <laughs> my, my family down there that's what it said uh, see like right there you can see it there's a there's a word it's 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 like really fancy. cute yeah. yeah i don't really uh oh, i don't it? know i mean it reminds me of a lipstick too yeah. but i don't know about that thing in the I end no once i let it dry out yeah, the words cool. might come out that's the first Neato, thing you man it's so, awesome yeah. something kind of weird right here I don't know what it is. I think it's wood, but let's take a look at it. Maybe a bat or something? Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's, um... Well, it's got wood there. You can see the grain in the middle. It was definitely attached to 
attached to a, a, a chunk of wood for something. But that's like hand forged, I do believe. Big old screw on the end. I don't have no idea what that is. Some type of something to build the bridge, I bet. Back in the day. I mean, this is a really old one, though. This predates the bridge there. That concrete thing that we're sitting on, standing under. Not that old, it's still going to be a silver. Oh, yeah. 1964. Right on the dot. <laughs> Not even as old as old Chig. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> I hate when you find like a 65 or a 66, so yeah. I got my 64 yeah. today. Awesome. That's freaking Very sweet. Good, man. <laughs> Look at uh, some nice little signals in there. I think there's multiple. Here's some iron, but I think there's something good in there too. So um, let's go under and take a look together. What do you say? see here we have some split shot oh that might be a flat button right there that's pretty awesome that might be a squeak that we heard we got a flat button split shot and a little egg sinker and a piece of iron most awesome that signal here it's probably a sinker but i figured i'll just get you out anyway hope you don't mind Looks like we got a little piece of a nail, a rock, probably a nickel, I would guess, and a modern penny. Uh, yep, modern, modern-ish nickel. All right, most awesome. Nice little find right there. I believe this is going to be a V nickel. You see the V on the back, that means five. So it's a five cent piece or a nickel. And you can see the front. So that's actually pretty good. Usually when I find these on land, you can barely make them out. Uh, the front's not that great on this one, but the back is definitely, I mean, that V is nice and solid. So <laughs> that's pretty sweet, man. I wonder if there's more down there. I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? There you go. Ooh, not right there. That sound looked kind of like a sinker. That's why I didn't get you out for it. I've been finding a lot of sinkers in here. Now that's putting you away. Well, let's dig that together. What do you say?
Nice little homemade sinker at least. Looks like a fire starter almost. You know what? Oh, I bet that's brass. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. Anyway, um, but I also got that largey. I think it's a large scent. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to have to put the camera down. So, yeah, that's actually a large scent right there, dude. Most awesome. Yeah, you can see the... Uh, <gasps> it's gone forever. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, that's a large scent. Most awesome. Holy, gotta love that. Looks like a, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a silver ring, but I'm not so sure now. No idea on that one. We'll take a close look at it when we go back to the land.
Well, what do we have here? That looks definitely a silver coin. It's a barber. It's a barber uh, dime. Unfortunately, got some scratches on it from my knife, but that thing was tight, man. Huh, that's sweet, though. Alright, so it's the end of the day. I'm sorry I didn't get a whole lot of video after a while because there's a bunch of people around and I didn't want to be talking and looking at my camera. Uh, so Mike and I have our stuff out. We're going to show you real quick. I'm probably going to do um, an enhanced roundup at some point because some of the things I'm not sure what they are. Great, Mike. Did good today, man. Did good? Yeah, it was a good day. I didn't find as much as him. This is a bucket lister for me. I'd love to find one of those. Lock That's a nice hammer. little lock plate. I think you saw me find that. It's awesome. Looks Definitely like 1850s, broken. probably 1860. Yeah, it's percussion. So, um, take a look at some of the stuff over we'll here. You've seen a lot of this stuff when I dug it. A lot of it you didn't, but I'll, I'll do an enhanced, like an enhanced <laughs> roundup at some point. Uh, yeah, I got a cool bunch of sinkers and stuff. There's some of my junk over here. Does that knife have some detail on it? I think it's a blender. Yeah, that's, part, yeah it's I a think blender. it's an industrial like it's big to be for a household yeah. since it's probably for the restaurant yeah this was kind of cool we you think it's a silver you think huh yes i i absolutely think that's silver you but think it, it's a hint oh it's hinged right yeah, there yeah so okay it kind of would open and close no idea what it is but yeah i think you're right about that you get a couple of cartridges and there's my little hole a bunch of stuff <laughs> yeah might be good lot. too you got a little goldish ring a nice little silver uh, quarter. quarter and like i said on this I've seen fire departments put their ID on locks and it says RFD, but we're trying to figure out, or it could be an H, I don't know. If it's an H, it'd be Hagerstown. Could be Hagerstown. But, uh, this is my favorite, even though I got silver. It's a little, see the little oil can on there? It says, good luck. I would suspect they would probably give these out to customers when they get an oil change in the like, probably 1940s, I would mm, guess it probably yeah. is. So, yeah. Very nice, Pretty I think cool. we did good. All right, so, ah, so we're yeah, going to go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the head out. Oh, yeah, I got the large scent. Can you get the, figure the date on that? It's a matron, so that gives you a, an idea of the, the era. Yeah, it's okay. a matron. Um, so it's an older one. It's, it's, it's at least 1830s, I would think. 1830. All right, man. Good job. Good job. Yep. See All you guys right. later. Coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. All right, let's go see what it is. 